Uh, welcome back everyone. Um, this is Sarah Scully from Vermont Craft Tours and again with my friend Jessamine. So earlier this week, um, you may have seen our video, I asked Jessamine about her hobby of making mossariums. And today we're going to show you actually how to make your own at home. And we'll include some written instructions too in case we go too fast or accidentally skip a step or something like that. But um, what do we need? Good news is not much. So first thing, moss. You get it from the woods. You can just go wandering around. I kind of sometimes peel it off of logs or rocks or whatever. The more you can get kind of the a little bit of the dirt that the moss is in, mm -hmm. you can kind of see underneath here. Yep. Uh, the better, but you don't need like a whole chunk of, you know, it's not a plant. You don't need a whole root ball, root ball underneath mm -hmm. it. Okay. So, so moss, have it be, you know, damp, doing okay. Yep. Next thing, jar to put it in. And one of the things I was telling Sarah about earlier is the great thing about these jars is you can use jars that you can't really use for anything else. Like this one, I think used to have like a stinky candle in it. Mm -hmm. And so you can't put food in it because, ugh. Mm -hmm. but Candles. moss doesn't care. Yeah. So a jar and a jar that has kind of a lid that closes mm -hmm. because one of the things about moss areas is they're really sort of an enclosed environment. So you don't just want to, the ones that I've had that have been like the least successful have been the ones that looked amazing, but didn't have a top. Mm -hmm. And so all the humidity goes away, they dry out, they die. Yeah. Okay. So it's hard because they're not like a normal plant where you mm -hmm. put it in the window and mm -hmm. everything's amazing. You mm -hmm. put water on it. They really go in a jar and then they kind of go in a corner. They're in their own environment. I keep mine in my guest bathroom. It's a nice thing for the guests to look at while yeah, they're exactly. in there. And yeah, it's kind of a they fun thing. They burn actually if they are mm -hmm. in a window. Yeah. So a little challenging. Good to know. All right. And then uh, next thing is rocks, which can be kind of anything. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be gravel from your driveway. It can be, uh, aquarium rocks. Fancy it can rocks. be, yeah, yeah, fancy rocks, no fancy rocks, big rocks, little rocks. The only thing that rocks are there for is to kind of create a little bit of distance between sort of the bottom of the moss and what your, where your water is. Because if the moss is kind of sitting in the water, it can get moldy and kind mm -hmm. of gross. Yeah. So it lets the moss kind of take up the water through the rocks without sitting in a puddle of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then last thing is, and I'm not even sure if this is necessary, but it's almost like a uh, kind of a Dumbo's magic feather for me. Mm -hmm. But um, activated, I don't even know if it's activated. Charcoal? Mm -hmm. It's basically this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. which I got by buying an aquarium filter at the mm -hmm. Bell Mains and then cutting it open and just okay. getting a little charcoal out of it. You can also get it from the drugstore yep. or a bunch of other places, but this keeps... Um, mildew and kind of mold from growing mm -hmm. and then last piece uh spanish moss or some kind of dried moss and mm -hmm. you can get this at like any craft store basically mm -hmm. and it's really inexpensive yep. but it floor, goes floor supply places exactly too. yeah mm -hmm. it goes on top of the rocks the moss goes on top of it we'll show you how it all goes together but you can you know this is sort of a lifetime supply when Bellman's just going out of business <laughs> yeah. I'll take it all. <laughs> I know what to use that for. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's a little bit weird, you know. Hey, I heard you like moss, so I got you some moss in your moss, so you can. <laughs> when you have weird hobbies, your friends who know you will get you stuff to go with your strange hobbies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. My mother used to get me like these little like glass ladybugs uh -huh. that I could just put. She's yeah. Like, oh, I would like your hands. Oh, maybe we'll put one in. Cool. See? Exactly. All right. Good. All right. So first step: jar. First step: jar. Put some rocks in. Second step, rocks. And this is all very approximate. The last thing you want to do is feel like you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a little bit about things that can really make something die, mm -hmm. but almost everything is fine. Mm -hmm. So rocks. There's your, there's your rocks. A little bit of charcoal, just like I said, I think it keeps mm -hmm. the rot away. I, I don't honestly know. Like I've had email correspondence from people who were like, ah, it doesn't do anything. I feel like my mossariums do better with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And yep. then the Spanish moss, you can just sort of cut a chunk off of it. Yeah. And it's messy and gets everywhere. So basically, a piece of it that can kind of go on top of what you've got. And it'll, it'll 
kind of go down more okay. once everything gets wet. Mm -hmm. And then usually I put water in at this point mm -hmm. just to kind of, it makes the Spanish moss go down a little bit more. And what you want is water that kind of goes to the top of the rocks, mm -hmm. but isn't necessarily... So we're right about rock level there with the moss, the Spanish moss floating on top. Yep. Yeah. And then... Chunk of moss. Take your chunk of moss. Take your little bottom part with it. I've got all his little feelers and yeah. uptake equipment in there. <laughs> exactly. And it doesn't matter what kind of moss. It can be like the soft kind of moss. It can be like the, the stuff that grows up. I've used multiple kinds together in one moss terrarium to mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. make it look funky little, and interesting. Add a little texture. But yeah, you can just kind of push it down on the sides. I usually put a little bit more water on the top just to make sure it's got water. You can kind of see how that works there. Mm -hmm. And then, this is the hardest part. Put the top on and leave it alone for several months. <laughs> if it starts to dry out, put in a couple teaspoons of water, tablespoons of water. But the worst thing you can do for the thing, number one, overwater it. Mm -hmm. Number two, put it in the sun because it'll burn. And number three, as much as it seems tempting, to put a whole bunch of like organic stuff in mm -hmm. it, like a little mushroom. I always thought it'd be great to have like a little mushroom in with mm -hmm. my thing. Or a little decorative leaf or something. A little like decorative that. leaf. Anything that'll break down or decompose or that has its own kind of respiratory system will actually create gases in your moss terrarium. So mm -hmm. I had one that had like a screw on lid mm -hmm. and you shouldn't worry about the air getting in there. Most of the time it just mm -hmm. kind of, it's its own little thing. Mm -hmm. But then I had one with a screw on lid and I put a little mushroom in it and I went to go put some water in it and I opened the top and it went bang! Oh, <laughs> exciting. And it was very scary. It was fermented. So, <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. It exactly did. So you just want to kind of leave it. You can put like sticks are fine. Little glass stuff is fine. Mm -hmm. Anything that's not going to break down or decompose. Totally great. Little army men, super. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anything like a mushroom or a leaf or like orange peels. I did that once. It looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. No. No. Birch bark? Great. <laughs> like <laughs> anything that breaks down? No. Mm -hmm. Flowers? No. 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 And then that's basically it. They stay green. Yeah. Keep it out of the sun. Put mm -hmm. it somewhere slightly cool, slightly dark, mm -hmm. and uh, you can just go look at it forever. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Get out there and make a mossarium with uh, your found materials. That's that's the other thing I like about this hop is that you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. You know. No, I mean I get a rocks leftover from my driveway. And, yeah, some rocks out of your driveway and some moss off of a log, and you're good to go. So. And I don't even think you need necessarily the Spanish moss, but I like it because you know for looks and also yeah. for air volume. circulation. But I think you can use shredded newspaper. Honestly, yeah. it'll do the same thing. It just doesn't look quite as cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this was our first time doing a tutorial, so uh, thanks, Jasmine. Very cool. Being my guinea pig. Sure. And, uh, and uh, let us know if you take, uh, if you do a mossarium, take a picture and send it to us. Right. Sure. And you can read more about the whole process. I have a little website at mossarium.com. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll link to that as well. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.